Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rubia, hope you're all well. So I've been asked to make this video for ages and I figured it was about time that I actually did it. We're going to be looking at my live rig, so my stereo pedal board uh, victory dual crack and setup. Um, essentially it's, it's, my, it's just immense, I love it so much, so proud of it, uh, so I want to just talk you through it really. It's just an overview, I will get into more detail in maybe some other videos, but this is a general overview of my pedal board and the sounds I use it for and just how it functions really. So in a nutshell, the whole thing is controlled with the Gig Rig G2, which is amazing. So Dan Steinhardt is an absolute legend and he very kindly set this up for me so I can use it without too many problems. The Gig Rig can control the amplifiers, the channels, the masters and the effects loops on the amplifiers. It also controls the MIDI uh, communications to my Strymon pedals. As you can see, I've got MIDI cable going out the side of it, goes into the back of the Strymons there, and it can control all my patches. And then all you see all my other stump boxes, my fuzzes and my pogs and stuff like that, that is all controlled in each individual loop. So it's, its own, it's got its own dedicated loop that you can patch in for a preset permanently, or you can use it on a stomp box. So if we look at the gig rig on the ground, you can see along the bottom, uh, numbered one to seven, those are my presets. And along the top, you can see uh, I've got some stomp box. The ones with the orange lights is essentially stomp box mode. So I can just patch those in on top of any preset or anything I want. And I can I can put them all in if I want. So it's quite cool. It's, it's, in, it's essentially set up with a couple of different uh, functions that make the whole thing easy to work. So I've got sort of a high gain tone and a low gain tone. And what they are essentially are two Krakens with EL34 and 6L6. So my high gain tone is a blend of gain one on loads of gain and gain two on enough gain. Uh, they're blended together. And then the low gain version would be gain one, low gain and gain two, low gain. So that, that that's how I get my sort of high gain and low gain tones. And I've got my volume knob if I want to clean things up even more. And also the gig rig has pre and post gain, so you can mess around with boosting or reducing some of that input uh, gain and you can get some really wicked tones. So the whole pedal board is powered using the Voodoo Lab Pedal Power Mondo and I actually used nine jack leads to get any sound out of this thing. So if I start on one side, it takes the effect send and return, so that's two cables. I've got foot switch cables, three, and then to the front of the amp is four. So then because I'm running a dual amp setup, you double that, that's eight. And then I've got my one cable going from my guitar to the pedal board input. And the reason that there's patch bays underneath is because from each of those cables coming to and from the amps, effects loops, foot switch, whatever, they go into the patch bay and then patch leads out of there into the back of the gig rig. So obviously to the amplifier ins, instrument ins, um, and of course the um, Strymons are going into the effects loop, so they're on their own little loop if you want to look at it that way. In the top left of the pedal board, you can see there's a hum eliminator, which is taking care of one side of the dual amp setup because I wanted to eliminate the ground hum. So I've got one amp going to the eliminator from the gig ring uh, to the amp. So that's that. And then also the TC Electronic Mimic, which is an absolutely incredible pedal, I must admit, for a one guitar band like Tosca with two amps, it makes the sound much wider. Uh, I'll demonstrate that now because we're starting on presets. So if I go to preset one, this is my heavy riffing tone. I'll take the Mimic off. So that's how it sounds without the mimic in, and then if I hit a chord and then throw it in and start riffing, you'll hear the difference. So there you go, that's the heavy riffing tone with the Mimic in. I've messed around with the settings and I've managed to find the sweet spot. I mean, of course, because it's a dual amp setup, you get phase issues, but for me, that's the perfect setup for it for live as well. I guess it's worth saying that this, all the pedals and all the sounds I've got going on here are for live use. So I've designed them all in a room with cabinets, you know, screaming at me. Um, so in here, in a controlled environment, being set up at home, um, it does sound different, but 
if I could show you all in, in a room, I would, but I can't. So this is the closest we're going to get. Anyway, that's, that's sound number one. If I go to patch number two, this is my kind of heavy ambient sound that I use all over the place. Um, it's most important use is in Illumo for that intro, for that kind of... Um And the reason, the reason that that's so important is because it sets the tempo for the whole song, uh, like this. Because we don't use a click track, we know when we come in at the end of the song, uh, if we're in time, because uh, Ben will be playing along with the, the delay time like this. So we know when we get to the end of Illumo if we've played it tightly because we'll be jamming along with that uh, delay time. So that's really cool. But also that gets used just all over the place. It's a very good um, blend of uh, delay and reverb for big healthy swells. So it's a lovely sound, I play that a lot. And then patch three is like a, a lesser version of that, so uh, it sounds like this. Patch four is like a low gain patch. Uh, it's just a bit of reverb. Uh, it's really nice for jamming out, but the cool thing is you can throw in um, different pedals so you can go up to high gain if you want to. So it's, it's quite a nice dynamic sort of sound. And the cool thing is I've backed off the uh, gain using the gig rig so it's even cleaner than it would be if I was just running straight into the amps. <laughs> So that's it, just jamming with a bit of Thunderclaw in there. It acts as like a mild boost, that's how I've got it set at the minute, so you can hear this is it without. Throw it in. Just warms it up, and then you can throw some fuzz on top and get some filthy kind of... So as you can see, it's quite versatile into, uh, as a preset. Um, it's really lots of fun, is that? So then moving on to number five, this is actually just used for very one very specific part of a Tosca song, which is this. <laughs> So yeah, it's literally an octave with high gain and delay and reverb, it's like a very big monstrous sort of sound. I have used it in other places, but really, so far that's all that preset's used for. Moving on to number six, 
Um, this I use all over the place. It's like a fuzz tone. Um, I use it on Chasm for uh, in a Tosca song, and also I use it for Centered and One. Interestingly, though, I just discovered yesterday if I connect, if I patch in the Horizon Devices Precision Drive, it's amazing on top of a fuzz because it acts as like a, a high shelf, so it pulls like high pass filter, it kind of pulls out the low end, still gives you all sustain, so you can still use it. Um, anyway, I'll show you with, with and without. So I'll take it off first. This is, how, this is how I use it for Chasm. Now if I throw in the uh, precision drive, it gets me that centered and one tone. So that's six is my kind of fuzz patch. And then seven, I use it for two purposes. One being as a heavy lead, uh, ambient lead for things like Tosca when I'm doing sections like this. But then if I want to use it in Dorje for a lead, uh, I, for a start I have a clean boost that goes in the loop to boost me, but on top of which uh, I just take off a bit of the reverb, so like this. So that's my lead uh, sort of tone, and then that's all the presets going from one to seven. Um, of course, I haven't shown you all the cool pedals um, yet, so I'm going to do some playing and then just throw some in there so you can hear them. But I'll start with some of the weird ones, such as the Cooper Sonic Germaniac, which features itself in a couple of places in Tosca music. One being the glitchy bit in Chalk Teeth, so it goes like. Uh, <laughs> So that's where I get you to use it there. It, essentially, you turn it on and it just goes crazy because the mania controls on full, so like this. So yeah, that's the Cooper Sonic Germaniac. Again, you can put it on a low gain and it still goes crazy. So that's the Cooper Sonic Germaniac. I love that pedal. I'm never getting rid of that because it's so useful for weird glitchy textures. Um, yeah, of course we've got the Pog, which is wicked with a high gain sound. <laughs> Love that sound, really do. Um, again, these all sound wicked when you're playing through two cabinets as well. So, but then there's other cool stuff that I can blend in. Of course, because the the MIDI works with the gig rig, every time I use a preset, uh, of course it changes the big uh, the big sky and the timeline, but it's changing the Mobius as well. So every so some of them I haven't checked what's on there, but some of them I have. So for example, this one. Um, <laughs> I set this patch up so that I can do this section.
which is part of chalk teeth uh, again it's just cool having all these options you're just pressing a couple of buttons and things are just flying in there and giving you some really cool sounds of course you can do some weird stuff again like this Which is wicked, that's the Mobius, but you could you could even like throw an octave on that, I don't know what it's gonna do, or a fuzz, let's just see what happens. This is one of my most powerful sounds that I use live if I really want to make things very big and powerful. I'm not sure how it's going to sound across to you guys, but uh, through cabinets and in a gigging environment, it is colossal. So this is what I'm trying to say, this is why I love this thing, it's more, it's like an instrument, it's, it's important to me as my guitar and my amp, you know, because it does so many things, it's so creative, and I can get anything I need out of it. I used this for the Universal Audio shootout, I just took my pedal board V40 and my Strat, and it sounded wicked, it really did just handle everything. I do change things in and out, as you can see, the Maxon OD808 is out on the side whilst I'm trying out the Precision Drive at the moment, can't decide which one I prefer. Um, there's an ABY there, which is what I use to slave Rob's amp for some Dorje stuff. But other than that, it's just, I'd say it was entirely necessary. And a lot of people would say it's entirely unnecessary. But when you're writing lots of songs in different styles and different, you know, bands and stuff, it's nice to have all these options. So I hope this has been informative. I hope it's answered the questions of those that have been asking about my pedal board and how it works. Um, again, this was meant to be an overview of my live rig, so just showing you the cool sounds that I've got set up at the moment, running through my dual uh, Kraken uh, setup. So I, I, I love this rig, it is my main rig that I use for Tosca and Dorje, and I don't think I'm going to be changing it anytime soon. But in any case, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed it. Comment in the comment section below, and I will see you all very soon.